Super Spears Brothers! Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI on the Super Spears Brothers! We're gonna be playing, we're gonna be playing, hi! Hi hi, hi! hi everybody! We're gonna be playing Final Fantasy VI, it's a game yeah, known by Final Fantasy aficionados as the sixth one in the series. Dukes of Hazard style! <laughs> Ow. That was awkward and white. Okay. Um, it's been a little while, so I kind of forgot what the hell we're doing. Mm, I just screwed myself over a bit. Okay, so I can't go down here. May I push that button? I wish this game had, like, repels. Like yeah. Like, Pokemons. Repels are nice, and there's also, um... What's the, uh... I got an amulet. There's, uh... Final Fantasy IV, I also wish I had the same thing. There's a lot of areas where I'm just, like... The enemies are pretty tough in some parts of Final Fantasy uh, 4, mm -hmm. but like, but but the actual, like what, like the, um, um, but I'm willing to like fight them on like the next level down or something like that. Yeah. And, and it's sometimes, and sometimes I just wish there was just a few, fewer enemies to save me a bit of time. Yeah, because the thing in Final Fantasy 4 is that they had like a lot of enemies that were legit difficult to fight, no matter what level you're at. Yeah. Um, you're always going to be running into enemies that are difficult. This game has enemies in them, and some of them can hurt you, but rarely are they actually challenging in any real way. Yeah, mo most... I think the enemies in this game... I complain a lot about Final Fantasy IV, but I think that uh, there are many um, enemies in Final Fantasy um, uh, VI that are cooler looking, mm -hmm. but are sort of just not that... They don't, they don't really face much challenge. Mm -hmm. challenge. The enemies in Final Fantasy IV are more challenging, for sure. Yeah, totally. And it, there's actually a bit I was in recently. I was on the moon. You're on the moon. And Spoilers it, for Final Fantasy. You go to the moon. You go to the moon. It's... You go to the moon in every Final Fantasy game. Yeah, uh, Final, except for Final Fantasy IX. It's the only one where you don't go to the moon. No. Because you go to Bedlam or something. Oh, whatever. You go to Kuja Land. Yay, Lodos gained a level. Uh <laughs> Um, but, uh, final, but anyway, uh, <gasps> I got Atma. I like how you get Atma weapon in a box. To be fair, this is like a special place. Yeah, but it's just in a box. It's, it's like and when you come back here later, stuff. Atma's here. Yeah. But look, uh, I, I look, use this for the rest of the game. Atma weapon is the best weapon in the entire game, and it actually has a huge plot significance that they never bother explaining. Because they explain, because later you run into the monster Atma. Now, it doesn't, isn't Atma stronger the less hit points you have? Yeah. But it's still a strong weapon. Or, or the more damage you, you perceive. The more damage you perceive, I believe. But, um... <laughs> but, uh, basically the, in the game... Sorry, I'll let you get back to the point. I just want to talk about Atma for a yeah, second. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and talk about Atma. Uh, so basically in the lore of the game, uh, way back in the, uh, mat in the Mage Wars or whatever, they created uh, weapons to fight. To, they created their own espos, basically, to fight uh, the espos. One of which was a sword, the other which was a giant monster creature. And I just found one of the most, the legendary espo killer sword in a box. And this is something one guy in a bow, probably under a balcony, tells you. But, because that's, oh, it's Jumlo and Doom. Um, oh, nice. oh, that means you don't need that, whatever it is. You need doing the thing to Shoked. shoot. Yeah. Now you can do all kinds of cool things. So does he have Vanish yet? Can I learn Vanish? Oh, I can't learn Vanish yet. What? No. Who is Phantom? Who is Phantom? That's such a menace. I know. One more. Yeah, so just switch him at that point. I don't know, just give him... Yeah, that's That, good. why not? <laughs> why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um... I can't remember what I was on about before. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy for the Moon. Yeah, so, so so there's a part where they have these ladies that do magic spells. Yeah. And the ladies that do their magic spells, their all their magics, they, you, I, they do like um, the highest level uh, spells, like the highest level damage spells. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of damage. And one of them uh, can like mess up your party. Yeah. But 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 it's, but it's completely defeatable. You can still you can beat them. Yeah. Um, but then there's one battle you can run into where there's three of them simultaneously, and each one of them, like at the point I'm at now, can kill one character in, in either one or two direct hit spells. Yeah. Because they do about set five to like anywhere from two to seven thousand hit points of damage. And trust me when I say it's 
not easy to do more than 7,000 points. These guys are wasting their time. <laughs> They're doing a terrible job. You guys should be fired immediately and placed buff. And by that I mean shot. With a chainsaw? Shot with a chainsaw. Is there a game with a chainsaw gun that shoots chainsaws? No, that's what I thought. Like in a oh, they, he got zombified. Yeah. Stop doing that. A, it works. Uh, yeah, but after like the fifth time too. Cool. More menu stuff. Te continue telling your story while I'm menuing. Well, okay, so um, so they can basically in like one turn if they all do the right spells in order, and you're not doing it quick enough. Or in two, two turns, they can wipe out your entire party, even though I can get past and I beat the boss. I, I got Bahamut. It's mm -hmm. the cave of Bahamut. Bahamut. Um, I, 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 I got through the cave of Bahamut, and I captured him, but I could still be killed in like two turns by this one enemy if I was not careful. And that's the level of like enemies they throw at you in Final Fantasy IV. They throw some pretty stanky shit down your throat, and you swallow it, and suddenly vomit is coming up, and then you swallow your vomit, and you choke to death. Basically. Should I flick the switch? No, no, leave it alone. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> you done fucked up, son. I don't know I, I did. I think there's a place here where you can't, there's a treasure, and you, if you do the wrong thing, you just can't get it. I think I probably already fucked up, but... Maybe it was the Atma weapon, though. It seems like the Atma weapon's probably the best thing going on here. Like, I think so? Unless there, I think there, is there a Genji glove here? No, because I already got the second Genji glove. There's only two in the game. And I've gotten You both can steal them. them as well. Yeah, oh yeah, there's an enemy you can steal them from. There's a couple different enemies you can steal Genji gloves from. But, you know, it's not easy. No. Oh, that's the other thing, actually. Did you get a Genji glove on YouTubes? Did I get a Genji glove on the U on the YouTubes? Yeah. Uh, no, I did not get a Genji glove on the YouTubes. Um... That, look, these guys are actually doing their job properly. Yeah, finally, they're not wasting everybody's time. Like a couple of nubs. Like a couple of nubs on the end of a pen. Are we going to be playing both games at the same time? We're going to be playing two Final Fantasies at the same time. This is the uh, legitimate version of, uh, of, of Final Fantasy IV. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. It probably does something when you've... Um, Oh, if you get maybe you you hit that switch, maybe then you hit the flick the switch. No, no, because you hit that switch, then it blocks off the path. You can't get to it. But can't you get to it through a different path? I don't think so. I think there's an item. Tail is kind of unfair at this point. I think there's an item you can get that's pretty cool, um, but you have to hit all the switches in the right order. But I think you can reset the reset the thing and get the timing right on it. Maybe I don't really care. We're not, I do. For, we're not going for 100% completion here, Blake. We we're always going for 100% no, completion. No. I do want to, at some point in my life, beat this game. This isn't like Final Fantasy VII, where I'm just content to never have beaten it. <laughs> have, you... have I explained why I've never beaten that game on Final, the show? Final Fantasy VII? No, you have not. Uh, so basically, we had it for the PC, which was a bad idea to begin with. But um... <laughs> I did a quick save. You can't see this. But I'll show the audience. I did a quick save in this game, here. Uh, let me see... Oh boy, the angle's hard to see. Hang on. There. Where I was basically standing about a few steps away from the save point, but I was running out of time, and I have a new baby now, and he needs immediate attention. So I basically did a quick save about five steps away from the actual save. Cheeto! <laughs> well, the quick save is a built-in function. You're, you're supposed to be able to use it. Because mm -hmm. you're on the run, you know. Yeah. But, uh, no, so we had Final Fantasy VII for the, uh, PC. And I was on disc 2, and I just got to the point where as soon as I went on to disc 3, I'd done pretty much everything. I had to do one, the last little bit of disc 2, yeah. and then I could move on to disc 3. And the only thing I hadn't done is get in the gold chocobo, which you can't really do until you get, uh, onto disc 3 anyway. Like, yeah. you can, but you can just do everything in disc 3, so it doesn't matter. So I was like, okay, I'll just do that. Then I lost disc 2. <laughs> And um, I've never brought myself to beat that game since then. Or play it, really. I played. I had got it again on the PS1, but I never beat it because I got too wrapped up in trying to get to level 99 before fighting the first boss. <laughs> and then I beat the first boss and then realized I that... You ruined the rest of the game. Tifa was level 17. <laughs> she didn't gain levels with me. And I was like, I'm not doing that again. I, I think you probably could have kept just kept going. I could have, but I gave up. 
I'm just running into a really uh, an enemy team I don't want to fight here. But um Oh there's there's where you can get that item. Yeah, I wonder if I can get it now. Zomboning. <laughs> Let's zombone each other. <laughs> Let's all have a big zombone party and zomb the bone out. What? <laughs> <laughs> I d I don't know. Don't don't look at don't look at me. I don't always make a lot of sense. He barely makes sense. He works for government. I don't know where the hell to take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not gonna take it anymore. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. What? Wouldn't it be great if they like, break into the trusted sister breaks into your house? Oh yeah, let's see. Click that bean. Oh, I heard a noise. Oh, there. I think it did something. I think I just get magicite. It's like whatever. I think this. I think you should go back through this room a little bit more. I think there's another treasure. Oh, you you know you don't care, do you? You just. I'll go care. back and check. I'll go back and check. I'm sorry, everybody. You know what? I'll go back and check, and you'll come back after I've gone back and checked on the next episode of the Super Spears Brothers. And I will show you the thing I meant to show you on the next episode of the Super Spears Brothers. This is a UK DS, and you can't get them in North America. Proof that I lived in England or ordered one or something. Ah. Lime, lime green? Come on, guys. It's cool, right? Who doesn't like lime green? Because they're limeys. Arr!